beginning to be crucified and there's a Jewish diaspora where they're leaving Jerusalem and while they're leaving he has to encourage them. He don't have time to give you a birth narrative. He don't have time to give you a love story. He's got to get right into the message. Yeah. Because as he's, as he's writing, people are back. Come on. Come on. Jesus has just been baptized 40 days ago. The Holy Spirit rested upon him. The heavens opened. Matthew tells us the heavens opened. Then, guess what got me? I didn't have time to research it. Sorry, Mr. Adams. Didn't have time to deal with it. It messed with me because the Bible says the heavens opened. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But then there was a voice from heaven. All right. Heaven's open. Yeah. Yeah. But there was one voice from heaven, the throne room. All right. Come on. Come on. And God spoke and said, "This is my beloved Son, yeah. Yeah. in whom I am well pleased." Yeah. Yeah. I want you to hear that again because this is. My beloved son, All right. in whom I am well pleased. Yeah. When judgment day comes, come on, come on. We want to hear God say, "Welcome, yeah. Yeah. thou good yeah. and faithful servant." I need you to look at your name. You may have to touch a few. You may have to look back and say, "I want you to hear this." Yeah. Stop worrying. About how people see you. Well, you <laughs> it took me 50 years to get free. I got it now. Come on, come on. People will laugh in your face and talk behind your back. People will speak good of you and get to the dinner table and dog you out. I need to look at your neighbors and they will free yourself of people. The only thing you need to worry about is how does God see you? We have no heaven and we have no hell to put anybody in. Jesus hears his father say, but then after that, this is what messes me up. Because some trials we go through of God our day. All right. Now let me say that one more time. Yeah, yeah. Some trials yeah. were already written in the book of your life and my life. Yeah. There are some things we must go through. Right. Right. You can't fast it away. Right. You can't shout it away. Right. You can't praise it away. There are some things in this life. And watch this. Sometimes we will never know why we went through what we went through. I need you to look at your other neighbor. Y'all kind of quiet. And I feel like hollering today. I need you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, stop trying to figure out why you're going through what you're going through. Just ask God to give you the strength to go through. When you look at it, Mr. Wagon, it messes me up because the Holy Spirit yeah. That yeah. rested on him. Uh -huh. Sent him into the wilderness. Yes, All right. And the Bible says the devil was there and wild beasts. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting on him. Yeah, yeah. But the Spirit of God, this fell, led him into it. All right. Sometimes Jesus will lead us into hard places. Come on. Yeah. Come on. And I like to tell people this all the time. We say he won't put any more on us than we can bear. But that ain't true. <laughs> he will put you through more than you can bear. <laughs> if you live long enough, you recognize trials sometimes come in threes. Sometimes they come in fours. You come out of one trial and you look up, you open up another door, and they come a bigger trial. God allows it in my opinion. Learn to trust him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Why he gets there? The devil is there. There's wild beasts there. Yeah, yeah. But here's the good news. Matthew says angels will it. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. So, so God is so kind. He'll send me somewhere where the devil at. Yeah. He'll send me somewhere where the wild beasts are there. Uh -huh. But he'll also send me some angels. That's right. So, so, so what are angels? Angels are not the angelic beings all the time. That's right. That's right. In this context, it is angelic being, it is spiritual being. Yeah. But sometimes God sends angels to us. Uh -huh. They too led, too led just like us. Yeah. Right. They, they, they walk around just like us. In other words, Mr. Jimmy can be an angel. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Phil can be an angel. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Alex can be an angel yeah. sometimes. <laughs> Mr. Willard could be an angel. Dr. Kingwood could be an angel. Yeah. <laughs> when you're going through yeah. and you're praying for God to give you strength, sometimes he'll send another person That's just right. to encourage you. Yeah. Just to let you know yeah. I've been through it. Yeah. You can get to the other side. That's right. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. John's cousin has just went to prison. Jesus' cousin, I'm sorry, just went to prison. Yeah, yeah. And it's amazing how they tag team. When John leaves the scene, come on, tag Jesus' scene. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus comes preaching. Yeah, yeah. So why does John go to prison? John preaches to Herod in front of everybody. Uh -huh. He tells King Herod, it's not lawful. Uh -huh. According to the Torah. That's right. That's right. You can't have that man's wife. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John said, let me break it on down. You can't have your brother's wife. Yeah, yeah. Boy, that John was cold blooded. <laughs> that John called it out. And in Bible study, we, we dealt with this. John says, you can't have your brother's wife. Yeah, yeah. Well, if his brother Philip was dead, he could have had it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you take on your brother's wife. Yeah. So that means his brother Philip was still alive. Right, right, right. You ought to look at your neighbor and say, Herod was the son of God. He was the son of God. Mr. Danny, you helping me back there? It's hard work in the house. You helping me, Miss Cole? He said, you can't have your brother's wife. Your brother's still alive. And you're having relations with your brother's wife. And it's unlawful, the Torah. God says, yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. do this. Yes, yeah. I tell you what, you got to go to prison for saying that. Come on, come on. Go to prison for preaching the gospel. Yeah, yeah. But why would John call him out? Why would, why would Herod keep doing what he knew? was against God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can I say that one more time? Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Why would Herod, because yeah. John said, you know it's unlawful. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why would Herod keep doing huh. what is unlawful? All right. Yeah, yeah. Why would he keep doing when he know God is not pleased with? Why did he continue? If you ask me, I tell you. Why? Why? Oh, they didn't know why. <laughs> why? If you ask me, I tell you. Why? why? Because he liked what he was doing yeah. Yeah. more than he loved God. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> it's that simple. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to oversimplify it. Yeah. Herod knew. 
he was not supposed to have his brother's wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John called him out on it more than once. The reason he called him out on it more than once is because he didn't stop. Yes, right. If he knew it didn't please God, what kept him doing it? He liked what he was doing yeah. more than he loved God. Yeah. Yeah. Don't look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Oh, yeah, yeah, Brother Thompson, you right. <laughs> we got quiet because there's a little hair in all of us. There's a little hair in all of us. It may not be the adultery, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's some things that we know. Yeah, yeah. That's true. We can even quote the scripture where God told us not to do it. But we continue because we like it uh -huh. more than we love God. Even with our hands lifted, we like it more than we love God. Oh, I remember when choir used to march in. Yeah, come on. Y'all ain't got to play here. Oh, they be swing. Come on, come on. <laughs> Sing all the way to the choir stand. Preacher come out to preach out the pastor study, looking sanctimonious. Come on, come on, come got on. the big Bible in his hand. Come on. I can't preach it, I got feel it. Go ahead, go ahead. Knocking down the deacon's wife. Oh. 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 We live in a day. Hold on, let's let's talk about this. We live in a day when people are dying every day. It's time to oh, stop yes. playing. Yes. 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 That's right. Yes. And you heard worse than that and have said worse than that. Right. Yes. Amen. 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 Carrying the Bible. Yes, yes, yes. Nodding at the deacon. Come on. Yes. Messing with his wife. Okay. Preach a powerful message. Yeah. Why does he continue, Miss Cole? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> because he likes what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. More than he loves God. Wow. 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 What is it? St. Paul and Facebook. What sin is it? Yeah. That I love more. Come on. Come on. And I love God. Because that's what it boils down to. Uh-huh. Well, let me give you some scripture because you're going, you, 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 you having a hard time with this, and I did too. Let's just be real. I had a hard time with it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. St. John 14 and 15. You got it, Miss Jennifer? If you love me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep my commandments. Yeah. It's simple. If you, Jesus said, don't tell me because you, you don't love me because you raise your hand. Yeah. You don't even love me because you give your tithes. Come on. Come on. You don't love me because you come to Bible study. You don't love me because you come to Sunday school. You don't love me. Come on. Because you're a missionary yeah. and you go to the hospital. Come on. Come on. You don't love me just because you preach the gospel. It don't matter how many letters you got behind your name. You still don't love me unless you keep my word. Come on. That's it. That's the word. They go to church every Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jesus said, I can, I can get on judgment day. I, I can get to judgment day and say, I don't even know you. Whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, I was the one that wore a new suit on this. I don't know you. Come on. Uh, did, did, didn't you hear me? Didn't you hear me preach? Oh, I preached until they were falling out. But yes, I can use you and I know you. Yeah. yeah. St. John 14 and 23. Got it, Miss Jennifer? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, yeah, yeah. he will keep my words. Yeah, yeah. So your father, if everybody say, God loves everybody, watch what Jesus says. If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love me. And he will come unto him and make our bold. In other words, we will indwell yeah. in him. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. That's word. Yes. He says, man, my father will live in that person who keeps 
my word. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes. Jesus preached. I'm almost through. Y'all feeling like I felt it to study. I'm glad. <laughs> come on, come on. Because that's how I feel sitting in the study. I felt like the seat got real hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So if that's what you're feeling, you're feeling the right thing. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Jesus preaches. Baby, I thought about it. Man. What would it be for Jesus to preach? Yes, oh, yes, yes, wow. yes, yes. God's son preaching to The word made flesh yes, yes. preaching to me. Yes, yes, I would have liked to hear him exegete John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the word. That's right, that's right. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Yes, yes. But he didn't do it. No. I would have liked to have heard him preach the creation of the word. Come on, Pastor. Yeah, yeah. Explain it to us all the intricate details that took place when God said, let there be. And there was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But he yeah. did. Yeah. Mm. I would have loved to hear Jesus talk about how we made Adam in our head. Yeah, 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 yeah. How God called the dust, yeah. the, the minutest part, and created Adam. Yeah. And I would have loved to hear him talk about how when God breathed into his nostrils, yeah. the Ruach, and man became living son. Yeah. 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 But he did. Come on. Man in the house. We would have loved to hear him preach yeah, yeah, yeah. a man's comfort. Without one woman in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he can explain to us why we don't understand women. Oh. I wish I had help in here, y'all. I don't care how holy those feel you are. If you ever figure out write a book, you're going to be a multi-millionaire. I would have loved to have heard him break down how he put Adam to sleep in the operating room. And while he had Adam under this anesthesia, he pulls out Eve, and he pulls out when Adam is asleep, and when Adam sees him, he sees her again, that's his wife. Yeah. How God took all the woman out of that. Yeah. Come on. Come on. It was there at one time, yeah. but he took it all out and brought her back to the person, and when he saw her, he said, this is now flesh in my flesh, and bone, I would have loved to have heard Jesus But he did. But he did. I would love to see him talk about that glorious day. Mm. How he opened the red sea. Mm. Oh, yeah. How that east wind blew. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Explain to me what that east wind is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how they walked over on dry ground and how everybody came out mm. and nobody was on blood pressure medicine. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody was on insulin. Yes, yes. Nobody needed Tylenol. Everybody came out healed. Yes. What did you do? What did you do? They came out healed, but, but then also, Minister Collins, they walked over on dry ground. Yes, 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 yes. And then explain to me, God, explain to me, because I can't wrap my mind around it, but I believe it. How is it that God can look through a cloud and he can see what's going on here? And he looks through the cloud and watch Pharaoh when he drowns. Pharaoh's on. Come on. Yeah, Come on. yeah, yeah. I God look through a cloud that he made? Uh -huh. How is it that he can keep uh -huh. one eye over here and one eye over there and he keep them from meeting each other? How is it God did that? Yes, yes, yes. I would love to heard him talk about it. But he didn't. But he didn't. Mm. What a love! I heard him talk about them Hebrew boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's some bad boys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. My man! Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah. <laughs> now Jesus comes down into the fire. I would have loved for him to tell me, how is it you came down before time into the fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would have loved to hear him talk about how Nebuchadnezzar's face looked. Uh, 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 when 
he looked down there in the pit, and Jesus looked at him like this. Come on. <laughs> I would have loved to see Shaq like Meshach and Abednego come out the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unsinged and not smelling like smoke. You can't even like, like you like your body you pit and right. don't smell like smoke. Right. But it didn't preach any of it. What did he preach? I'm so glad you asked. He said, repent ye. Come on. Come on. Yeah. For the kingdom of God is at hand. All right. To Jesus, nothing else was more important than for you and I to repent and believe the gospel. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Yes, yes, yes. It's time. Come on, come on. It's time. Now, I need you to touch your neighbor and say, neighbor. It's really time to get it right. Look at each other, neighbor. And I didn't come to be nobody up today because I live in a glass house. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. This time. You know. And I know what well, we need to get right. Yes. Uh, yes. Jesus didn't even call the list. I, I, I'm looking for the list, Mr. Field. What, 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 what do they need to repent of? He didn't. He left it open. Yeah. Come on. Because you and I know. Because we know the scriptures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is not evangelistic time. This, this is not a tip revival. We in church. Yeah. We, we know the word. We, we know what's not right. Yeah. Yes. In our minds. And Jesus says to us what he said to them. Repent. So what is repent? I'm glad you asked. It's more than saying I'm sorry. Yes, yes it is. Because repent, because I can say I'm sorry and do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad said something to me the other day and I just looked at it. He said, son, I got one foot here and one foot flipping out of here. That's right. That's right. That's right. They had 77, 78. Yeah. I didn't want to hear that. I didn't want to hear that. Because yeah. <laughs> I realized as I went through my mind, the catalog of my mind, Mr. Jimmy, I started flipping through. All the people, all the family members yes, yes, yes. who were here, yes, yes, yes. they're not here anymore. Yes, yes. And, and I realized we all standing in line. Right. Preach. Come on. And sometimes you think it's going to be two or three people ahead of you, two or three generations, but sometimes God. Pick from the back That's right. and bring them forward. That's right. Yes, we will. My wife, I'm gonna be just honest as uh, I ain't going no, yeah I am. No, no, no. <laughs> no. I ain't gonna get no trouble this time, I promise. <laughs> I have gotten some trouble a few times. <laughs> I said something kind of smart, Miss Paul. Kind of, kind of had a little sad to it, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> kind, of, kind of feeling myself. Every now and then, tears she feel herself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, PSU. All right, PSU. <laughs> she said nothing. Nah. She came back later. She said, "I've been working on praying. When I'm praying, when I'm walking, I'm, I'm praying, asking God to make me a better this, a better that, a better wife." And I, and I didn't tell him about Tony Lynn. I said, I wish you would have just went back off. Huh. I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would have. Because <laughs> Dr. Kimwood, the rest of that day, the Holy Spirit beat me down. Oh, I know he did. Yeah, yeah. There's no reason. Yeah. 
for you to behave like that. There was no reason for you to say that. Yeah, yeah. You're wrong. Yeah. All day long, Miss Phil, I heard that. It would have been better for her to tell me off than the spirit wouldn't have dealt with me so roughly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's something about a person who will humble themselves. Come on, Lord. Come on. And let God fight their back. Touch your neighbor and say, I know you need help right there. We got to get to a place where we don't have to respond to everything. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Take it. Am I right, Mr. Cliff? Take it to the Lord in prayer. Yeah. That's it. That's it. All day long, the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. I couldn't wait for her to get her to I'm sorry. I started getting away. Lord, help me to control my tone. Help me not to say it like some of y'all ain't got quiet. Because you got that same problem. Say things that you ought not say. And many times we say it and we know it badly. But the Holy Spirit, we ought to thank God when the Holy Spirit is getting on us because God is still with us. Woe unto us if the Holy Spirit stops. When will the Holy Spirit stop talking? I'm glad you asked. He'll stop talking when we stop listening. When you don't see no change, you don't see us trying, he'll yeah. stop talking. Yeah. Yeah. So what is repentance? You find it in the prodigal, you find it in the prodigal son. He said, I'm going to my father's house and tell him I've sinned against heaven. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the part we miss. Yeah, yeah. When you and I mistreat someone. We're not just mistreating them. Come on. We're mistreating the God in them. Yeah. Come on. Come on. He's not going to repent. Yeah. Yeah. I've sinned against God. I've sinned against my father. And I am no more worthy to be called his son. Yeah. Right. Repentance is to say you're sorry to God. Let God know I was wrong. Your word says I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm turning yeah. from that. Yeah. There we go. And I'm gonna let you lead and guide me the other way. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna ask you again that I asked you a few months ago. Is there anything worth going to hell for? Mm. Come on, come on. I don't know if you ever been on a barbecue pit. You take that lighter fluid. You hit that, you hit that, that charcoal and that wood with that lighter fluid. What does it do? <laughs> Jesus don't want any of us to go to heaven. He said, "Repent, for the time is at hand." Then he says, "This and I'm through." Jesus says, "I'm preaching the gospel." But there's some that still won't believe. Yes, 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 yes. He said, repent ye, believe the gospel. What is the gospel that I'm for? That God loved us enough. Yes, yes, yes. He said, it's only the God that's in Yes, yes. And his son died for you. God put together a plan to keep us from hell. Why would we want to go? Come on, come on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the sun died. We call it Good Friday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They buried him. Three days later, he got up. He got up. With all power, heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Ten days later, he went to heaven and sat on right inside the fall. Amen. Amen. Forty days later, the day of Pentecost, he sent the Holy Spirit, the comforter that he promised. Yes, yes. And then he told us, I'm coming again. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Repent. Come on. That's it. Believe the gospel. And I want you to go through the, I, I want you to take some introspection. If you ain't got time now when you get home, ask God to show you, show us. What areas of our lives he is not pleased with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah.
when he shows up. Repent. For the time is now. He said this in the close. He said, when I come back, there'll be two women in the field grinding. One will be taken and one will be done. Yeah, yeah. He said, whatever you're doing, when I come back, just continue. It's too late. The word of God, said Paul, 